Hi, welcome to my today's session on PHP. So I'm going to talk about what is PHP before going with the PHP. Like I got your previous video on web designing. Okay, so if you're interested, just watch my web designing video, which is in WikiTiki channel, which is really like the basics of how the web designing starts. Okay, let's move on to the hyper preprocessor that's PHP. So initially, like I got a company Kasho Infotech. For that, we made a Kasho Infotech website. For this Kasho Infotech website, we need the base of technology that's your HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. Using this technology, we created a yeah, dynamic, uh, considering an interactive website. So in the case, in addition, I got my login page comes with a picture where I got my username and password, which is used to log in into the system. So for accessing your like, a database, like a database and other stuff, so to make your login page working, we need from the static websites, we need a dynamic websites. To make this happen, we created a project with the technologies which covers PHP and MySQL. So this is how your dynamic websites comes to the picture. As I told you, you got your static and your dynamic websites. So I want to show the data, that's your static. So I want to interact with the data, to manipulate the data, that's your dynamic. So static website, as I told you, the base technology is HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Whereas in case of dynamic websites to manipulate the data, in that case we need an additional technology that's your PHP and MySQL. So we got five technologies. You may ask me only five technology? No way. You got an enormous amount of technology and this is the base. These are the baseline technologies which you need to make a basic dynamic website. Okay, so let's move on. So further about the components of a web page. If you talk about the components of the web page, the first thing is like you should understand about the HTML. HTML hyper text markup language. I'll tell you the base of HTML in my future session, but at present I'm going to talk about what is HTML. Like HTML is like nothing but I got a text. I'm moving my mouse over there. The mouse became a hand hyper text and it is written in a markup language, a bracket based language. That is called, they call it as HTML. The HTML will have a opening tag and a closing tag, which will have HTML over here slash HTML. It will have a body, like here you have header, your body and your footer. So HTML will have these basic stuffs and the mandatory is your head and your body. And to make it strengthen, to make an, to make an effective web designing, you got your JavaScript. The structure is HTML where from there I made the strengthened one that's a JavaScript to make it coloring you got a cascade style sheet they call it as CSS. A colorful website which you got is composed of HTML with the JavaScript and CSS that's where your static websites are created. Okay considering your headings, paragraphs, lists everything is HTML. You got a dynamic displays uh, pictures and animations which just user iterations and interactions i'm giving my username and password checking out the password and the, the confirmed password are same or not those areas are used as interaction it's not iteration interaction i need a pop-up message hey you click this one welcome to car share info I need a pop-up message everything you are able to do to do via the javascript i want this font sir I want this color, sir. I want a background color of this one, sir. I need this kind of border. In the case, you got CSS comes into the picture. Now, let's move on to the next level. Before going ahead, our company, Kashu Infotech, we are providing internships to the students, in plan training to the students. And apart from that, we got lots and lots of innumerable sort of technological courses. Okay, I'm, I'm giving live classes to you people. If you are interested, you can join our company. You can contact our contact numbers which we are given in the website. Apart from that, we are guiding finally projects and projects also. Okay. So if you're looking for any PHP courses or internships or projects or web designing course or anything, just contact me online and also like you can come down to my office to learn it and here's my contact number to contact me. Okay. And if you're looking for any career guidance or technological support, job guidance, anything you can contact me at any time. Apart from that, we are building softwares and websites at a very cheaper cost. If you're looking for websites, please contact us. We are ready to help you. Okay. Let's move on to the technology. 
So web technologies history, history of web technologies is the one which we are going to see. So okay, so how the web history starts? The first thing is like I got an individual computer. So that the computing two plus three is equal to five. The computing and storing everything is done in the single computer. And now I don't want to store my data in my local computer. I start storing in the database, a separate place to store. That's where the storing is different. I don't want to compute everything in my local computer. Can I make the computing process somewhere that is called server? You got the computation process happening in another server. Okay, that's your distributed computing. And from there, sir, why are the internet the computing should be happen, sir? That's your web hosting. The server I got it for renting in the remote. That is called your web hosting. So from the individual computers, only storing data is more. Computing is also more, and everything is happening via the internet. This is how the technology started. Okay, so the World Wide Web is one of the major thing to it, it emerges the websites and web designing concepts more. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the web hosting and from there how the technology is split up. Considering like I got my client over there, I'm giving username and password and designs and everything which is done with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML is used to make a structure. JavaScript is to make it strengthen and CSS make it colorful. Okay, so this is a client side coding. In the server side part, in the client side, they are giving username and password. Hey, just give me the username and password. So username and password, I grab it. I'm the server. I'm the PHP guy. Oh, for this username and password, I need to go to this database to check in the table whether the data is available or not. Okay, in that case, my PHP is the intermediate guy connecting your database and your front end. And he will read out all the requests and process everything. The computation is done by the PHP and the data is stored in MySQL. This is how the technology goes on. And PHP, the abbreviation is Hypertext Preprocessor. It's a server side programming. And the scripts are executed on the server. It's open source, free for you to download and use it. Okay, ah, that's great. Let's talk about the history of PHP, when it emerged and what happened. Let's talk about the history of PHP. The history starts with a 1.0 of PHP. And before going ahead, like if you love this channel, like I want you. To I, like, I request you people to subscribe to the channel and click this bell button and click all so that you'll get all my videos. That's one thing. Apart from that, if you love this video, please give a like symbol so that it will motivate me a lot. Okay, let's move on to the history of PHP. So if we talk about PHP, the per version one is a PHP 1.0. It is a personal home page tools, which happened in 1995. From there, I got my PHP 2.0 in 1997, an advanced version. From there, like a one person was developing a website. No way, man, I need multiple developers to do it. Your PHP 3.0 comes to the picture, which make you to like a, like a, make you to create the websites with the multiple people. Multiple developers can develop a single website, which happens in PHP 3.0 in 1998 it comes. From there you got a Zen engine. Zen engine is nothing but it got the object oriented programming concepts which comes in PHP 4.0 in 2000 year. From there your 2002 you got your session management. Ah, what is that session management? So Venkat I'm asking my inbox. Venkat's inbox should come. If Arun is there he's asking his inbox his inbox should come. So maintaining a separate channel for each users by the server. This is called session management, which happened in 2002 and it comes in the version of PHP 4.1. So that multiple users and enormous users can handle, can process. Okay, from there we got our PHP 5.0 in 2004 with the object oriented programming model in an effective manner. And there are a lot of lagging happened. The performance of the PHP is very less. That's why your PHP 5.1 comes in 2005, which got a lot of performance improvement. From there, we got PHP 7.0 in 2015 with 64 bit supporting. And you got a serialization techniques so that the data can be communicated and transferred in the networking world via PHP 7.4, which happened in 2019. And you got a 2020, we got just in time compilation 
which is nothing but uh, you are able to execute your PHP in multiple environment, multi-targeted operating system. So I got my 32 bit of Windows operating system, my 32 bit of Linux operating system, it will work. Because just in time compiled based on the environment. So that's happened in 2020. Okay, this is how your history of PHP goes on. Let's talk about the web server for PHP. As you know, like uh, I got the server for computation and it is available in the web, they call it as a web server. For PHP, we got Apache as a web server, which will take the process, process it and reply back to you. If this is how the Apache server will work. You got a client, via the network the request is moving on and the pro server will process it and it will give it back to you. This is how your server software Apache will work. So once I'm telling you, Apache will get the request, find who is the PHP guy. Hey, this is the page and this is the PHP guy, match it. And this is the database, match it and process everything. Everything is done by a person called Apache, the web server. Okay, so here is the technology started. So in web technology world, we got major three players, an enormous amount of players. And three players are great, like they are dominate the industry. The one guy is Microsoft. The other guy is Oracle Corporation. The third guy is Apache Open Source. Microsoft's web technology software is called a .NET. And the technology name is Active Server Page .NET, ASP.NET. And you got a Java, it's a Java server page. And you got a PHP, it's a hyper preprocessor. For them, we need the database to store the data. So the database is SQL Server, Oracle, and MySQL. You may ask me, sir, is it the, the only one dot in SQL Server can talk? No way. So anyone can talk to anyone. Okay, so all front end technology can talk to the back end technology at a shot. Yes, they can do it. Okay, and finally, to host your website, we need the dedicated web servers. For Microsoft, it's a Microsoft Internet Information Services. For Java, it's a Tomcat. And for Apache, which is a web server for PHP. So these are the web servers. Okay, so like, let's move on to the direct part of how to code PHP. Come on, this is going to be real big, man. So how PHP is written. So let, I'm, I'll try to give the best thing to you. Like, uh, I'll make a try. Sorry for that. Before that, like, if you want to contact me, like, uh, here is my uh, Insta account. You can give that follow button. You can type, click this follow button. You can contact me at any time. I'm ready to help you. Okay, now I'm going to write a small piece of code with HTML. So here is the HTML code. So you got your opening tag HTML and which is enclosed in the brackets and you got the in the bottom you got slash HTML enclosed in the brackets. Okay, that is the third. That's why they called it as mark you language. It is called a mark you language. Oh, okay. Oh, there is called the opening tag and here is the closing tag. From there, like I started building my technology, you got your header and your body. The head will have head, slash head, and title. If, you're, if, you've, if, you, if you don't have my uh, like a face, you can't find the person with a body. So you need some title. So I got a title as Kasho Infotech PHP course is the title. I made this title and you got the body here. Okay. And once if this is a piece of code and the website created is like this and you are able to see the title is displayed over there in the website. Okay. And title is very, very important for the building up of website to make it like a famous. Okay, in my SEO search engine optimization course, I'll teach you the base of everything to you. Do not worry. Okay, now I got my body ready. In the body, I got a yeah, paragraph tag and a yeah, paragraph winked message is a paragraph and with a button. Click me is the button. Okay, I got a yeah, paragraph winked message and a yeah, button, the ID of the button is BTN1. On clicking this button, on clicking this button, my function is a function I need to call and the text on the button is click me is the, the text should be written. Okay, it is ready now. Now, I need to go with the PHP. So how we can write the PHP, the, comf like the best of PHP is, you can write your PHP code anywhere in the HTML. So, but you should have the PHP tag. So yeah, lesser than symbol, 
and you should have the PHP tag, PHP word, and a question mark with a greater than symbol to close it. Okay, this is the PHP tag. Over there, I'm try, trying to type a echo sample PHP code. Echo is the one which is used to print the particular text in the web page. Now you are able to see my echo is printer. So this is the base of PHP and you'll be having forthcoming videos on specifically on PHP. Do not worry. Okay, here is the one. You got your winket message and your click me button and your sample PHP code ready. Okay, this is how it will be. Now over here, like uh, now I got my PHP code is ready. PHP code is ready. From there, I'm trying to make out our additionally, I'm going to add the design, a style for this one. You can see the Venkat message, which the background is green and the front end is like front color is like a blue. Oh, that's great, man. So for CSS, Cascade style sheet, you should have a style tag and slash style. You got the paragraph tag. For the paragraph, we need the four color and a background color. I'm trying to give the four colors blue and the back color is green. And this colors should be embedded for this particular paragraph. My style is given on the web page. It looks good. But I felt like that is a, that is the one thing which I missed it. On click is equal to my function. Oh, on clicking it, we need a function. That's where your JavaScript comes. In my JavaScript, using this JavaScript, you got a script tag and a slash script tag. From there, in that, I got a function, my function. You can see the button there. On click is equal to my function. On clicking this fun button, the function is called. The function is called. In this function, I have written a small piece of code to give an alert. Hey, you click this button, man. When can click the button? So I'm giving an alert. Okay, and here is the design outputs. You can see the page here. There is a button, click me. On clicking that button, you got a pop-up alert when you can click the button. Okay, this is a pop-up I got. This is how they will write the JavaScript. So this is the very basics of web design I'm teaching you. In my future sessions and future videos, you are able to see further on digging out towards the technology. Wait for me. Okay, like we got lots and lots of tutorials available in this particular uh, website. It's my website, wikidigi.com slash tutorial slash PHP. Just go there and you can start learning it. And uh, like, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Like, uh, like uh, thanks for watching this video. If you love this video, just uh, press this like button and just share this program to your friends and everyone. Thank you. This is Venkat signing out from Wikitechie and Kashu Infotech. Thank you.